Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Kushner and today we're going to work with text in Photoshop. And I go back into Photoshop and it's the blue PS here. What we're going to do is actually pull up our image from yesterday. So I could just click that one time and I'm going to, um, you see that my orientation of my iPad is up and down. So it might look a little different from yesterday. Um, but if I go ahead and I click T for text, and now I'm literally going to click and drag. You see how it's making a text box? I would prefer that you do that rather than just like click it and start typing because what will happen is your text will go off the page. If you make a text box, uh, you see the text is going to be contained in there. And you can actually drag the corners of the little box like that. And so you can kind of move where the text will be if I get rid of that just to show you I can actually make it the entire page um, I'm gonna double click on it and I'm gonna hold my finger down and I'll click select all and now if I go over to text here are all my fonts so remember I was talking about salvation I kind of really like that one and you see it changes the style now right now these are just sample text which means it, they just gave you something to show you what it's gonna look like if I hold down again and I say select all now I can change the font size so I could slide it and make it bigger or smaller. Okay, so I want to find a size that's um, easy to read again. Um, you can decide if you want a lot of text on your page, like if you want um, your idea to repeat over and over. Maybe you want to repeat keywords or key phrases, or maybe you just want everything that you wrote just all in one. It's kind of up to you. And you can play with these different things. Okay, so the tracking is going to widen the letters and make them further apart. Okay, over here. I'm looking at the space between the lines. So if I want the, the text to be closer together each line, play with that. Um, and you'll notice they're kind of sliders. So just playing with each one and seeing what they do is really helpful. Um, just showing you how tall the letters are. It's vertical. Okay, and you don't want to mess with it too much because um, a lot of these might distort the text and make it hard to read. Here's horizontal, so it like, makes it wider. So you'll see what makes sense. And then I can change the color here. I wanna pick something that contrasts with the background, okay? So um, if you look like, just to click off of it, white really stands out. Um, to me, that stands out almost too much. It's really intense. So I might want it to fade a little bit and I'll just show you this. Um, you can kind of play with your colors. Maybe I'd want it to look a little more gray. Let's see how that looks, or red, that's a little more red. Um, so I might go more towards a gray. I think I like the way that looks. Um, and if I select it so I can go ahead and add my writing. Um, so let's say that I am talking about global warming and I want to think about, you know, ice melting. Maybe I repeat that line, ice melting, ice melting. Um, and then I want to go in and so you see how it went to the next line and again I can I kind of change some of these things here to think about how I can make it fit on the same line. Um, maybe it's a matter of just changing the size of my font and right now nothing is happening because I didn't click on it so I have to hold down and say select all and now if I mess with it you see if I make it smaller it'll stretch it so I can kind of play with it. Um, and what I can do is if I click off of here and onto the background, now I can just see what my text looks like. Okay, so obviously I would keep going with my text. I would probably want to fill the entire page with it. Uh, but just to show you, when I'm on my text tool, if I click on it, now it's going to bring me back in. Um, but just to show you, if I click off of it and I go to this um, top tool, the move tool, looks like a little pointer, um, I can now click on my text and move it around the page. So depending on where you want, maybe you want yours to start in the middle, you want to move it around. I would leave yourself a little bit of a margin, which is space around the edges. Um, and then the other thing I was going to show you, if I go back to my T for text and I click on there, I can go to select all like this. Um, and if I hold it down, I can say copy. So let's say I wanted to repeat something over and over. I could hold down, let's see if that'll work. If I click T and I click it just once just to show you that, 
I can do paste. And now it's going to paste it. And so if I click off of there and I go back to my move tool, now I've got exactly the same thing. Okay. Now, I think if I'm talking about ice melting, I actually don't want a red background. I probably want something like blue. Um, so what's really cool about this, you'll notice I have two text layers now because I copied from one. It's up to you if you want to just have one big text layer. Um, what's cool about having a second layer is that if I go back to T and I click on this, maybe I want this one to be bigger. Right? Like maybe I want to emphasize something in that second line. So I could actually make this one bigger if I want. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and press return here so it's like goes on two different layers there. And we'll hold down again, select. Okay, just to show you what that looks like. So, you know, if I want my font even bigger and I click off of there, you know, now I can go back to my move tool and move it. And I could also pinch my fingers if I want to get closer or further away. Um, right now you see it's going off the page kind of like I told you. So I'm going to go back in there and press return. Um, but if I hold down on there, you know, I make I can make that bigger. So that's an example of how if I click back, I can actually change the size of the font. So I've got um, this layer over here is this top line, and then this layer on top is a, a larger layer, right? So maybe the letters get bigger and bigger as we go because I feel like um, the ice keeps melting the more that we um, contribute to climate change, the, the bigger the impact, right? So let's say I like the way that looks and now I'm reconsidering and I'm going back. I want to go back to my background layer. Like what if I want to change the color? So here's just a review. I can go to my gradient now and I think this time I want to use some blues, right? So maybe I want to go like kind of a, a light blue. I think of like ice and I want to fade it to like a dark blue, something like that. Um, I can go ahead and now that I'm on this layer, see how when I'm on the move tool, it moves around, right? Um, but if I'm on my gradient tool, I can just click and drag and it's going to go right over that. So maybe I want it to go up to down. That's a little bit easier to read. Did you notice when I did it like this, the gray doesn't really show up on the light blue. So that's not a good contrast. But if I go up to down, now all of a sudden it's really easy to read, right? And it looks like it's getting really cold on the bottom. Like the ice could actually be melting, right? So that's what you want to do with your text. And again, I would experiment with this. It's kind of up to you. I could now go back to that first layer. Let's say I wanted to repeat that, right? I can go to my move tool. Uh, sorry, we'll go to text. Let's try that. We'll go to text and select all there. And then if I hold down and say copy, click off of there. Now I could go back to my text and click text on there, hold down, paste, and then click out of that and go back to my move tool, right? So again, just playing with different sizes of text. Um, and certainly I only wrote two words, ice melting, ice melting. Um, I think that when you did your projects, a lot of you had really important things to say and you had a lot of writing. Um, I would encourage you to use a lot of the things that you wrote. Uh, this is just a demo, right? So I'm just showing you a couple words. Um, but you could look at some of the examples that I posted as well to see what the more finished project looks like. Um, again, if you go back to the little home on the top left, it's going to save everything that you did. And you see how mine changes from what I had yesterday. And I would actually love to see what you've done so far at this point. So I'm gonna open this back up and show you something else. If you wanna go ahead and save it at this point to your camera roll so that you can turn it in, you're gonna go up to this box with the arrow on the top right, and you're gonna say quick export, which is gonna just share a snapshot. And it's asking where do you want it to go? So I would just take the slower route and click save image, and it's gonna go to your camera roll. And then from there, I would go to Google Classroom and upload it. I think sometimes when you go direct to Google Classroom, it doesn't always work 
Um, so that's an option you can try that you can go to Google Classroom, but um, I, I do think it's quicker the other way. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just turn this off. I don't think I can show you from my window how it would look on yours. So if you have any questions at all about how to upload this or it's not working for you, let me know. Otherwise, I hope that you really enjoy exploring working with fonts in Photoshop.